Hi, welcome to Moose's Workshop. This is take two of building the green tower. I uh, didn't realize I was out of disk space, so I'm going to start from right here and continue. Uh, what we did so far is we attached just on the bottom side three pieces, and we did it with just the uh, plastic shirt bond, since it's just white plastic styrene, basically. I am going to reinforce it a little bit with uh, some Rebel contact just in places so it doesn't pop apart because plastic does plastic struck does tend to be brittle on very thin joints. At least with my man handling or moose handling or however you want to say it. Okay, first I dry fit a piece. Uh, let me turn it to the camera. As you can see. Oh, that doesn't go there. Where did that go? Did I put it wrong piece on somewhere? Yes, I did. How about that? Okay, let's see how terrible this actually is. Actually, it's not too bad. It does peel right off. Let's put the right piece on there. Watch a little tack. Just brushing some of the uh, stuff on here. Just give it a little tack on this side. Make sure it pushes on there correctly. Just hold it for a couple seconds. Now I'll take some from the inside and fill the gap that way. Kind of works like acetone. I think that's what it actually is. Just not a little bit of a diluted version so it doesn't eat right through everything. Maybe I'll take my blind eyes and <clears throat> read the label here soon. <clears throat> Check it out for real. Okay. Now I'll just let that dry for a minute. Plastic, plastic solvent cement evaporated formula for bonding styrene to styrene, ABS to ABS, and other alike plastic applications. Harmful vapor, eye irritant, do not sniff. Read caution on the back. Made in USA. Contains, I wouldn't even know how to pronounce this, Dichlormethane, whatever that is. Hmm. Do not eat, drink, or sniff. Okay. But now, since that's probably dry enough, I'll see how well this dry fits. I 
And from the look of it, I gotta take these tabs down just a notch. A little bit too much flush. Wherever I put my knife. As you can tell, I'm really with it today because I had to reset everything. There it is. Okay, take just a little bit off of here. Just so it gets over the flange. Off of this flange. Don't be too deep now. There's plenty of YouTube videos on how to put this together. Each one's a little different. Each one goes about it a different way. I'm just trying my way. I've seen quite a few people have a hard time getting these to snap together. So my way is going to take a little bit of the tab off, so I'm going to see it from the inside because it's going to be dark in there and it's not going to be lit up, so at least the silo itself. Looks like it will do it. Ta da. And these sections I will snap and hold individually. Make sure. Now pop in there. Yep. Okay. So now we'll glue that piece in. Now that's the correct one to be in there. Be sure to check out our other videos. We got a roundhouse build going on. We just recently posted a uh, building the bench work you see behind me. We also do other things, robot builds, home improvement. We got a nice big right atop train outside for the summertime. Sorry for any of my slurring. I am deaf. At least I am deaf now. So it's getting harder and harder to remember how to talk. But I like making videos, so yippee skippy. If you can't understand me, maybe the captions might help. Even though I seem the captions call Moose's Workshop Mrs. Workshop many a time. Get where I can see it a little better. Check it from the outside. Yep, it's seated. Okay. Put a little more on there. Trip it down into there. We also do take requests for stuff. There's something particularly you want to see if we're able to do it. Um, also helps if you would like to make a donation to the channel so we can keep it going. 
It's not required, but as you see with all our videos, we do not put advertising or any of that dumb stuff on here. I've always thought, if you want to donate, you will. If you don't, no big deal, we like teaching anyway. <clears throat> Other things we're going to do this year, we're going to have a... We're going to build a couple other models. We're going to be laying track. We're going to be doing bus wires on this. Lots of fun until spring gets here. Then we'll go back to more outdoorsy stuff for the rest of the year. Except for on big rainy days. There, that should hold. Cut the tabs on these because I know they're going to be trimmed. Well, I can see that. This these little tabs don't go past the point of the tab. Just take a little off. Not even a sixteenth. Like a thirty second of it. Each side. Also make sure uh, when you cut these free of the moldings of the, uh, I don't know what you would actually call them, the plastic injection part, you cut them free from that, make sure you sand all the tabs flush because they're kind of a little bit on the outside. <clears throat> that will help a million times. So always worth it to take these little extra time. I found that filing with a uh, nail file, the foam kind, stiff foam in it, not too loose. Works actually way better than a metal file because a metal file on the edges actually can kind of dig in if you're one way or the other. A nail file doesn't do that. It sands the highest spot faster than anything else. Actually, I'll give the example of that final because I must have used. Right there, there's a little tab. I don't know if you can see it. But what I do is just back and forth, no pressure. So it gets flush. Take any edge off. Feel it with your finger. It's good to go. Okay, we'll dry fit it, see how it goes. I'll show you inside of here on a dry fit at least. Watch out for a shaky camera. Da -da -da. As you can see in there, it goes right up against a um, little rise. And that's one reason you trim this very bottom one. If you don't, it catches like that. You got a little gap. You cut that off, and then it fits just right. Little things that ain't mentioned in the instructions. Let's see if I got that high enough. I'll go a little bit hair higher on that.
Just look inside at that little line, make sure it's all flush in there. Just hold it there for a little bit. Just be lucky now that I'm deaf, I don't try to sing while I'm on camera. I used to sing pretty good, I used to be in choir and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm lucky if I can even say my S's correctly. So, 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 so. Do miss music. Kind of have the song uh, Mr. Ringmaker in my head. If you remember that song. And replace Rainmaker with Grain Elevator. That's what's going on in my head right now. Yes, I'm weird. Mr. Green Elevator. Uh, one of the other builds we're probably going to do later this year, we're going to start on our third Dalek. It's going to be one that's opened up. It's probably going to be black. Dalek sec style. But it's going to be burnt out wreck with a half dead mutant inside. Never did a destroyed robot or a destroyed looking R2. Because it's like, but I'm building it. I don't want to have it look crappy, but this will be done on purpose because I have two perfect ones. And I've gotten a lot of requests on how to build other aspects of a Dalek I did not get a chance to do videos on. Before I get too crazy, I'm going to add some couple drops here and there of this, just so they don't pop loose.
That's more than enough. Now we can start on gluing this one. Test fit everything first. Fine and dandy. So I will start the gluing process. Not either. But, uh, dry for a second. Um, the next glue video we're going to do, we're going to take some old R2 parts, some Stormtrooper parts that are resin, and we're going to glue those together with all the different glues. We're going to do it in two different ways. The shiny part to shiny part, which shouldn't be a good bond, and then we're going to do sanded to sanded. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, I think we can put some on the inside. Don't knock it off. Let that dry for a minute and we'll be back. I'll glue that other little inside part where you're not going to be able to see. Let it dry and we'll be back. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the first part of the silo to dry, figured we'd skip to the next part, which is getting the actual elevator part <clears throat> put together. Got some windows cut out that need to go in where the camera lens is. Got a couple tabs. I'm going to Check and see if any of it's raised to the wrong side. Otherwise, I can just leave those tabs on because you won't see them. Yeah, just take the burrs off and you should be okay. Let's see this side. Okay, that's fit. Yep, don't have to take the burrs totally off. Just anything that might be pointing towards the outside. It's good to check each one now. That one can be glued in. <clears throat> Let's try this piece. Get a little closer and shiny. Those tabs, just quick file. Don't hit the actual window, but just the, where the lip on the inside is, get the quick rub. Make sure not to skip over the window sash itself, put little scratches in it. Yeah, those fit much better. Now for a door. Little itty bitty door. A little piece of plexi that goes on the back side of that too. Just looking for any burrs. Interfere with it. There's one right on the top side. That fixed it. Now I'll go in there like that. So now we're gonna glue those in. We're gonna use our rebel. Just put a bead down two sides, 
inside. Good, both sides. Just a little. Same with the door, make sure that's in there good. Unless you plan to poke it with pencils and pens and markers and stuff like that, they should stay okay. Gently pick those up and move them over so they can dry. Okay, grab the windows under here. We'll cut some more of them out. Oh. Now all these windows are the same size, there's nothing different about them. We got a couple four pane ones for somewhere else. So we'll just start cutting these out. Number 11, the X-Acto blade. Make sure it's sharp. Last thing you want to do is crack this plastic. It's a much um, harder plastic than the white star. The other reason I'm not using that plastic strip on it, I'm probably just turn it white. I could do a sample, but I think I'll just do with what I know. Because usually the harder the plastic, the harder it is to melt. I usually do this on my green mat, but I found, at least me watching the videos, that the green mat, especially on such see-through stuff, it's hard to actually see on the video. So, giving this a try. Besides, it's one little exacto blade. I don't think it's going to cost that much. Keep your eye on them because if they pop somewhere, you want to know where they go. <laughs> okay. This should be eight of them. I know there's eight of them. Okay, we'll do a little sanding. I sand that's a floor. Or as Mr. Miyagi used to say, sand the floor. Wax on, wax off.
There. Now we will repeat that on all the other windows and doors and we'll come back again for part two. Thank you for tuning in.